guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to share with you my entire handbag collection. A lot of you guys have been requesting this ever since I started posting all about all of my favorite purse deals and all of my favorite purses and the occasional purse video on my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you my handbag collection. I'm really excited to bring this other passion of mine to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm mostly a makeup channel. I review a lot of beauty products. So if you only like the beauty stuff, don't worry, that's still my main focus, but every now and then I do like to post the occasional handbag video. Yeah, and there's a number of you who also I have learned really, really enjoy handbags and getting good deals on handbags. I've been posting some of my favorite deals that I find and you guys seem to be loving that as well. So that's why. After many, many requests, I'm here doing a handbag collection video. Now, my collection mostly consists of contemporary brands. I do love the luxury items, though, but obviously I can only buy those every now and then. So I have a very small luxury handbag collection and then quite a large contemporary brand collection, particularly Kate Spade. You'll notice Kate Spade is my thing. They're like 80% of my collection. But yeah, I've been really growing my collection recently and looking for really good deals and finding super good deals. So yeah, my collection has grown recently. Let's get into it. First and foremost, let me show you how I store my bags. It's not special. All right, guys, so my storage is nothing special. It literally, that's, not that's not where I keep my purses it literally it's just lined up up here and then also I have some on this side of the closet because it's spilling over but yeah nothing special with the purse collection I gotta make do with what I have so I'm gonna organize this video by brand we're gonna go ahead and get started with Kate Spade because Kate Spade is my favorite purse brand and I also find that they have the best deals most of mine are going to be from the outlet store love a good outlet deal speaking of why I love Kate Spade on the day that I'm posting this they have some really good sales going on on the retail website they're having 40% off with code extra 40 off of the sale page and uh the smile bag that i have is on that page right now so it's at a really good price city noises sorry and, and then also the surprise site which is the outlet site is 20 percent off of everything so i'll have the links down to that sale because it's a good time to get a kid's bait if you want it i'm going to start off with the newer ones that i think you can still get and if you are able to get them i will link them down below and let you know and also i don't know the names of purses very good so i'm not good at remembering that they're not like makeup they <laughs> don't have the name on them so this is one of my newest purses from Kate Spade I believe this is called the Gemma wallet on chain it is so cute I got it for a really good deal for $60 it has a hot pink lining and it's a wallet unchained, so there's lots of compartments and slits, and it does fit my phone, which I think is awesome. It also has a removable chain, which I really like. So this is a newer one. I haven't gotten the chance to wear this one yet, so I'm excited to because this is really cute and casual for every day. One of my biggest regrets is not purchasing this in other colors when they had this on a deal because they have the cutest colors available. To this day, of the Kate Spade deal of the days, which I am constantly, you guys know, reviewing for you guys because they have a bunch of deals of the days that are really really good deals this is one of my favorites and I think they had some of the best colors and I know I convinced a lot of you to get it I wish I would have gotten the black and the white but yes this is the Gemma wallet on chain I love it here's another new one that I have this is a smile bag from Kate Spade this is available on sale on the regular Kate Spade website the Kate Spade retail app website um they have it in different colors it is on clearance so eventually it'll go away but I really like this one we have a really nice big thick chain handle and then you can also use it as an accent piece because it can become a crossbody this fits my phone my wallet and my keys not much more because of the height here but my phone fits in here perfectly but I love to wear this as a shoulder bag I actually went through a phase a couple weeks ago where I wore this non-stop and you're still able to get it they have it in a bunch of cute cute colors but yeah this under the shoulder bag is really really trendy right now and surprisingly I've even used it as a crossbody a lot which I did not think that I was going to do so I've been really enjoying this one and it still is available 
if you're interested. This one is my newest Kate Spade handbag. So this is another deal of the day. I love this one because there's double compartments here and there's a lot of card slots. So I like being able to keep everything organized. And I surprisingly have really been loving this one. I've been using it nonstop because it's super casual. So it doesn't look like too much to wear with leggings and a t-shirt. So this one also came in a bunch of colors. I'll see if it's still available. It should be since this is one of the newest ones and I always look for handbags that have a removable strap because I'm picky about my straps. I've been loving this one. I will say though, it gets dirty very easily, which I don't like, but that's my newest Kate Spade. This is a Kate Spade that I am currently using right now. It has my wallet and everything in here. So this is also from the outlet. I got this for my birthday and it's super cute but casual. So you can just top handle it or of course you have the removable crossbody. I wore it as a crossbody last weekend. Oh yeah, I've had COVID. So the last time I used this purse was last week. And then you have a nice compartment here. It fits everything. It is small. I prefer smaller bags because my frame, I'm only 4'10", 4'11", on a good day, maybe 5 foot. But yeah, so I prefer really small bags. I don't normally carry too much with me. So this one is just clean and cute. So I like this one. This one should also still be available. So I will link it for you. Okay, so I believe the rest of my Kate Spade bags are on the older side. I'll see if I can find a link for any of them. I think this might be the only one that still has a link. So this is the Natalia medium size flap bag. I bought this about a year and a half ago and they still have it, but I don't think they have it in this cream color, but I love this one. I think it looks super duper classy. I mean, obviously it's inspired by a Chanel flap, which I do not own anything close to near as expensive as a Chanel flap. And I am okay with that. I love how quilted it is. It feels super duper well made. This is one of my most recommended bags for Kate Spade. I think she's so well made, so cute. And this one holds a lot. There is a smaller one. I prefer the medium. It doesn't look too big on my body. It still holds a lot. And then you can also, of course, wear it crossbody. I normally don't, but I love how it has that function as well. So they have a lot of Natalia's in their line. So I will definitely have to link these for you because this one, so cute. And then I know they have a style close to this one. I believe it's called the Sadie Dome or something of that nature. It's a dome bag. They don't have this pattern anymore, but I got this a few years ago for Christmas for my mom. And this has ended up becoming one of my most used bags. This is something that I never would have bought for myself because I normally don't buy things that are patterned, but come to find out I wear no clothes that are patterned either. So turns out wearing a patterned purse has been really cute. So I actually use this a lot and I like this one because this one holds a lot of stuff as well. So I, I'm gonna see, they definitely have bags like this online that are a similar shape. I love this dome style right here. I think it looks super duper cute and it adds character. This is why I love Kate Spade. They just do the cutest job. And yeah, this is a good one. I don't really wear it under the shoulder, but yeah, this is a really, really cute one. They actually had a deal of the day on one of these bags for like $70, $80 a few days ago in a bunch of different colors. That's why you guys need to check my community tab or follow me on Instagram because I'll post when they have deals on these. I am a spokesperson for Kate Spade. Unpaid, but <laughs> I love Kate Spade. And then I love that shape so much. I also have this one right here. Now this one is from the regular Kate Spade store. I bought this when I graduated high school, which was in 2014. So this bag is so old. So that's why it looks a little worn out. But nonetheless, for being so old, I think it still looks like it's in really good condition. It's just now starting to look really worn out. I'm gonna have to stuff it and see if I can bring back the shape a little bit. But yeah, I used to use this every single day when I graduated. It was my little gift. I think my mom bought it for me, but <laughs> it was my mom's graduation gift to me. And I think she is so beautiful. And I remember this was before I knew the difference between retail and outlet Kate Spade. Um, and so I paid the retail 
sale price and then I went to the outlet store and they had bags a similar shape to this and I was like I'm never shopping at the retail store again because this was so expensive at the time for me so yeah but this is so cute it still is one of my favorite bags I definitely don't wear it as much anymore because I do feel like it looks a little worn out but I will forever love this shape because of Kate Spade and yes I do want a Louis Vuitton Alma Alma BB because of those but those were my first and this is the last dome shape bag that I have and this is a super duper mini one I got this at the outlets this was my go-to evening purse in college the amount of stuff I stuffed in this little bag because when me and my friends would go out they never brought any purses with them I was the only one and I always brought this I would hold all their things how I managed to fit multiple phones and cards and keys in here I have no clue a snack it's crazy the amount of things I stuffed this bag in I wish now having this all these years later that I could take these off I could probably cut it off but I don't know if I don't know yet if I want to do that because I think mini, mini bags are so in style right now. This would be so cute without the crossbody strap. But yeah, this is another one to show you the test of time for Kate Spade. I've had this since I was in college. I graduated in 2018 and this was with me prior to graduation. And sh this one's been through it, let me tell you. She still looks not new, but pretty darn great. This one, I can't even remember buying this. This was such... Not a waste of money because I do use it, but I've outgrown it for sure, but I still wear it every Easter. <laughs> it even has a tail. The problem is the tail looks gross. The ears are gross because of the material used. I don't, it's one of Kate Spade's novelty bags. I love the novelty bags. I don't think I really buy them anymore, but I did fall for this one and I don't use it too often, but surprisingly, you know, because of the gray color, it goes with a lot. I did go through a phase where I just wore this every day. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a few years later, not an everyday bag for me anymore, but I use it every springtime. I try and pull it out. This one is another older one. I think this was my second Kate Spade bag ever. It's just a simple navy bag. I bought this because I didn't have anything navy, and I don't even really use this too often, but lately I've been pulling it out more and more because I really like light blue clothes lately, and I feel like the navy looks so good. It has removable handles, and I like that there's three compartments. There's the main compartment, but these sides here are like secret compartments, and you can fit anything, you know, you don't want to get stolen. But yeah, this one holds a lot of things. It's still small, but it still holds a lot. And yeah, it's super duper old, but I feel like it looks good as new. It's held up really, really well. So this next one I got a couple years ago for Christmas. My cousin bought it for me. I think it is so cute. It's another polka dot bag. I love this one. Actually, if you're watching this, thank you. I still love it. It looks brand new. It's held up very nicely. So it comes with a silver strap. So I like that I can wear it as a shoulder bag or just hold it like this. And then it also came with a crossbody strap which is really convenient as well i think this one is so cute i love the duo tones so yeah this one is really cute for the plain outfits or if you wear like an all-white dress you know and then you use this for that pop so so cute i wish i knew the name of this i mean it is so old they're not even gonna have it anymore but i wish they did because this is adorable and then you can leave this chain strap and then have the crossbody down so cute i love this one okay and then i got this one i remember for super duper cheap from the outlet and i really really love glittery things and i actually use this quite a lot i feel like it holds a lot of stuff compared to all the little tiny bags that i use and i love the glitter now what i don't like about this one is it's a little bit scratchy i wish it had like a finish over top or something but it still is so pretty it's not the complete dome shape of the other bags that I have, but it still has that similar shape where it's bigger at the bottom and goes up to slimmer at the top. So this is cute and simple, yet not, as you can see. So I've worn this one a lot. I think this one is so cute. The last Kate Spade bag that I have is this tote, which is disgusting and I need to wash. But I haven't gotten rid of this because... I used this when I was a teacher, like this was my bag 
when I was a teacher. This I used this all throughout college as well. It would hold all of my bags, my books, my notebooks, my laptop. So this bag has gone through it and this one looks like it's gone through it. I need to throw it in the washer. It says glitter is my favorite color. I'm pretty sure I got it for super duper cheap. I don't even remember but ugh, she's dirty. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do Coach next and then Tori Birch. So the most recent Coach bag that I picked up, this one, it picked up for my birthday. This is from the Coach Outlet store. It's the Clio Top Handle bag in the Chambray pattern. They no longer sell this. It was on clearance when I got it and they've already sold it out. But this is surprisingly so cute. You'll see it's unlike anything else in my collection. And it's so good with like a white t-shirt or a white outfit. It is so so cute so many of you guys love this one it doesn't fit the most but <laughs> I just think it adds the perfect pop to an outfit normally I would never get a purse that looks like this it's almost Western with the tassels here and the buckle but yeah this is the newest one it's super cute unfortunately they don't have this pattern anymore but if you like the style I will still link the style because they do sell the Clio top handle kind of bag and uh, it's so adorable. The styles and colors that they have are still very, very cute. So the next two bags from Coach and these are the last two that I have. I don't have the largest Coach collection. That is something that I would like to grow. Um, but I picked up two bags from the JLo and Coach Outlet collection a few months ago. This is what re-sparked my love in handbags. I've always loved them. I've always like had a bigger collection and loved going to the outlets and buying purses. But when I bought these two, I really got into purses again. They no longer sell these anymore, but they sell the styles because they don't have the JLo collection anymore, but I love that collection. So this is one of my all-time favorite purses. This is a Nolita 19 purse. Uh, they don't sell it with the fur, but they do sell this style. And the style is so cute. You can hold it just like this. It holds my phone, my wallet, and my keys, nothing else. It does not fit a lot, but it's just the perfect little evening bag, Aaron's bag. It fits under my shoulder and then you can also turn it into a wristlet. So I don't know if it'll still be available by the time that this video is out, probably not. But I saw a really good deal on a pink Nolita 19. It was uh, leather, not fur. And it was only like $56. I paid over $100 for this. So again, make sure you're following me on something because I will let you know of the good deals I find. But I love the Nolita 19. I was strongly considering getting it in that pink color but I didn't I don't need any more purses I, I don't have enough space <laughs> so I didn't buy it but I do love this style and then I can't remember the official name for this but I do believe they still sell this bag not this not this color of course and I don't think they sell it with this but the pop-up is telling you, I have no clue at <laughs> the point that I'm filming this, but this style of bag is in Coach's regular collection. I think that this is so beautiful. This is one of my most beautiful handbags. I wore it all winter. I absolutely love this chain detail. With the JLo collection, they even had it in this material on this purse. That was a bit much for me. That's why I got the red. But surprisingly, I ended up wearing the red a lot. I feel like I, I love neutral handbags. I always buy neutral handbags because I'm like, oh my god, they go with everything. But the thing is, I always wear neutral clothes too. So I've come to find out that I can be more adventurous with my handbags because I buy white and black clothes. So anyways, I wore this a ton during the winter. I think it's such a cute top handle bag. One of my favorite styles is the flap top handle bags. So this is me to a T and it does have an option for a crossbody as well, but I mostly just hold it top handle style. So that's it for Coach. I have two Tory Birches. So the first Tory Birch you guys saw, this is one of the first purse videos that I ever posted an unboxing. This is my very first Tory Burch. This is the small Kira in the crochet pattern. This is my summer bag. I just think it is so cute. It holds just the essentials, but again, it is that flap style bag and you can wear it like 
a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a crossbody. It goes with so many things in my summer wardrobe. I love how thin and nice the chain handle feels. It just feels super high quality. So I love this one. I did spend a pretty penny on her, but it was worth it. I wear this all the time. It goes with so much. I have to be a little bit more careful now that it rains in Florida a lot more. I have to keep an eye on the weather, but this is awesome. I love this purse. That's my update for you. I've been obsessed with it. The other Tory Burch handbag I have, I got from the outlet on my birthday. It is this cute little vanity bag. I think it is just the cutest little thing. I don't have a bag that is this shape other than this one. I try and lately, since I've started doing my purse videos, keeping the tags and stuff in. I don't know, in case I ever need that information. Normally I wouldn't, that's why I don't know the names of any of my bags. But I really, really love this because it's so different than anything in my collection. And Tory Burch is one of the newest obsessions for me in terms of brands. I actually have a handbag already ordered that should be shipped in July that I ordered from Tory Burch. So that's coming soon. They had a really great semi-annual sale. It was 25% off clearance, so I picked up a new bag from them since I'm growing my Tory Burch collection. But yeah, this is the vanity bag. I think it is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, I'm going to move on to the brands that I only have one thing from. So first I have this crossbody from Ted Baker. It is another kind of novelty style bag, which I've surprisingly used a lot. It has rose gold hardware, and I actually tend to bring this with me on vacation. I'm super weird. I don't like to bring expensive bags with me on vacation. I just... I'm a small girl. I feel like it makes me a target. So I like wearing stuff like this. I got this at Nordstrom Rack many, many years ago. And it's such a cute little bag. And I use it all the time because even though it's a cat, it's still super versatile because it's black. It fits in my luggage well. So how I normally travel is I bring a big, big tote on me on the plane. And then I'll shove like socks in this. And then I'll put it in my... um bag that I'm checking in so it doesn't take any space and so that way when I travel like this is my going out for the daytime bag so yeah I use this mostly for travel nowadays not really casually anymore and it holds its shape too in the luggage but I'm looking at it and it's definitely starting to look worn I mean it's been through a lot this bag has traveled a lot you can see this is fading this needs clean she's been through it but she's gotten her money's worth I love it it's a very well made bag I got this for my birthday from my mother-in-law. This is a Kipling bag. These are so cute. It has a little monkey hanging on it. I love this. It's super casual. So if I go like walking and stuff, I'll bring this with me. You can fit like a water bottle and stuff in here. Definitely for more of a sporty vibe. But they have like the cutest backpacks. Again, these are really great for traveling as well. So I have this. I have love the cute little monkey on it. <laughs> This, oh my gosh, I've had this for years. It's so nice. This is my fossil bag. This is from the men's section, but if I'm carrying my laptop, I will put this in. I don't use it as much anymore because it really truthfully doesn't hold that much stuff, but I use this a lot in college, and I just think it is so cute. I wish I had like a smaller version of this, more for every day, but how cute is that just to hold my laptop or my iPad or something. The men's section really has it going on and I've had this for years and I just think it's the cutest thing and even though I bought it years ago, I still think it's super stylish. It has kind of like a vintage vibe to it as well. I'm so happy years later that I ended up buying this still. So I still have it and I've gotten rid of purses. I've left purses at my parents' house and this one I still had to bring with me because I think it's adorable. The last bag that I have before we get to the luxury items, this is one that I convinced a lot of you to pick up. This is the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. I did a lot of research before deciding if I wanted to buy this or not. This is the medium size. There's a mini bag and then this is the next size up. I think that this is so cute. It's casual. I bought it to carry my laptop around since I live in a city. So I need to do a full review on this because I have my thoughts. I don't really love this to carry too much stuff in because I feel like the bag kind of weighs a lot. It's perfect for me to bring 
bring some stuff down to the pool or if I bring my laptop to a local coffee shop, which is exactly what I bought this for. It's perfect for that. But I also had visions of like traveling with this. It's too heavy to travel with. If you put a lot of stuff in here the bag's gonna be heavy and it's not the comfiest to carry around in my opinion so there are some cons to it but I still really love it for the purpose that I bought it and I love it enough to tell you I want a mini leather tote bag I plan on buying one eventually I mean these items are hundreds of dollars so I can't just be buying them all willy-nilly but I know I've convinced a lot of you to buy the tote bags from Marc Jacobs because they are so cute and I definitely want to get a mini one and Marc Jacobs I'm going on a tangent, but they just came out with the shoulder bags. I That's on my wish list too. So I want to Marc Jacobs shoulder bags and tote bag. I'm a fan of Marc Jacobs. I want to grow my collection because I think they have such cute pieces. Okay, that's it for my contemporary brand stuff. Like I said, I don't have the largest luxury collection, but let's get into what I do have. So I have one Gucci purse and this is used and abused you guys i've used this so much so it's like the marmont i don't even know what it's called <laughs> she purses are quite expensive i would eventually like to get another one but it's a long wish list so gucci is not most likely going to be mine anytime soon unless i find like a really good deal or something that i fall in love with uh, but i love this color most of my luxury bags you'll notice they're kind of like ones that everybody has but I don't know. I, I, I like those ones. <laughs> I feel like it's a good place to start off. So I use this one a lot. It's super cute, super casual crossbody. I do wish though that I could shorten the leather straps. I know I could take them to a cobbler to do that. <sighs> I don't know. It seems like such a commitment. I want to customize this and I know that's frowned upon, but I would like to shorten the strap and then add clips here because I feel like this bag would be so cute with like a, a top handle instead. You know what I mean? I don't know. I like to customize bags in that way or the thought of it. I, I don't know. It's just that this bag was so expensive. I feel bad altering it, but it's so cute. I love this. Is this my most used luxury bag? I would say so on like a everyday basis. This is the one that I reach for. This is my newest luxury bag. I bought it for myself for my birthday. I got a lot of bags on my birthday, if you didn't notice, but this was a treat to myself. I wanted to buy it for myself because after I had paid my taxes, if I had anything left over, I wanted to treat myself. So I ended up going with the YSL College Medium bag. I have a whole unboxing video on what I got, the details, where I got it from, because I did buy this pre-loved. I have a hard time justifying paying full price for the luxury handbags, you guys. <laughs> it's hard, uh, but I do really love this one. I think it's such a gorgeous evening bag. I'm definitely going to use it a little bit more in the winter. I'm not using it as much now just because it doesn't go as well with my summer wardrobe. I wear a lot of brighter, lighter colors, but once we get more towards the winter, this is definitely going to get a ton more use but again it's that top handle flap style bag the closest I'll get to a Chanel bag which I will have one at one point in my life yeah I really love this one she hasn't gotten a ton of use quite yet it's just not the season for her but she's perfect I love her I don't regret it at all I, I think she is so gorgeous this was such a treat to myself Okay, so my YSL College Medium. And if you don't see, here's how the flap works, by the way. Okay, and then the rest of my bags are all Louis Vuitton. Love Louis Vuitton. So I have the one that everybody has. I have a Never Full. I bought this when I was in Hawaii and I had just graduated college. So this was a gift to myself. I actually had made a little bit of money from my YouTube channel. So I had a little bit of money sitting. So I bought myself this in Hawaii. And I mean, yes, everybody has it. And it's funny, I see people on social media talking down about the Never Fool, but this is an amazing, amazing bag. I always use this as my carry-on bag because it holds so much. I have an organizer in here right now. It holds so much, you guys. Since I have the organizer in here, the shape has held up really well. Even though she's a cream color, she doesn't look dirty. This is a phenomenal bag. And even though they say everybody has this, why would you want this? She's super duper functional, okay? I still use this. 
I prefer carrying my laptop in here for longer walking situations than I do my Marc Jacobs tote bag. I love my tote bag, don't get me wrong for Marc Jacobs, but this is a little comfier to hold it in. I feel like the bag is a little bit lighter. Everybody has it for a reason. It's a dang good tote bag, okay? It holds so much stuff. Every time I need to go somewhere and I have to hold a lot of stuff, I use this. Still use it very, very often. It's my go-to bag for planes to hold a bunch of stuff. I just throw a bunch of stuff in there. It's great. So the next Louis Vuitton bag I have is this one right here. This is an old bag. It's over 20 years old. This was my mom's. I stole it. I think it is so beautiful. I looked online. I think you can definitely get these for under a thousand dollars. I have no clue the name or anything, but 20 years old. Doesn't she look so good and again this is more so of a winter bag so i'm not using it a ton right now but i like that you can hold a bunch of stuff and honestly it's so cute and so clean and professional looking like come on the only thing that's super annoying though is this strap right here always falls off <laughs> She was an expensive bag to not like that factor, but I didn't buy it. Ugh, she's just so pretty. I love this one. I think this is gorgeous. And then the very last bag in my collection is my Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette. I have it all mixed match, but I got this for Christmas, this past Christmas. And I love this bag so much because I like how multi-purpose it is. And this is another one where it was like trendy for a while and now everybody has it and it's not as trendy. I don't care. I love the versatility of it. So essentially you're supposed to clip these together and then you have the strap and then this. That honestly is a bit busy for me. I don't really love that look. So how I wear it, I mean for casual occasions, I'll normally just have the pink strap on and then I will put this on. There also is a coin purse that comes with it. You can clip it on here if you want. I don't normally wear it, but you can if you want. And then for kind of a more evening setting, I normally just wear it like this, or I will attach the big bag with just the chain. I love the chain handle. I think that this is so, so cute. Like I said, I have the very basic, very popular, trending kind of uh, luxury bags, but I don't know, I like them. I, I like having the ones that are known, um, and I think they're great starter bags, and I'm just, I'm, I'm new to luxury handbags. I don't buy a lot. You guys know I, I like things in abundance. If you haven't seen my makeup collection, I like having options. So that's why I love Kate Spade, Coach, and looking out for those deals because I love adding personality to my outfits with my bags. But anyways, that's a whole different video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my purse collection and I hope you guys are loving the purse videos and posts as much as I am. And if you're not, because I did have somebody message me telling me they were not interested in handbags, that is fine. That's why 99% of my posts are about beauty. <laughs> <laughs> These are just extra for me to express myself for funsies. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. I will try and link down below as many bags as I can find for you. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.